Hello and welcome for the final time to Hashtag Doha 2050. It's the last day and we've reached the end. 1300 athletes have competed in 210 events. We've had dancing, naked roommates, and I've even managed to learn the language of love in Mandarin. Ni hao, Martina. But there were still medals to be won on the last day, which includes a fourth gold medal for Tunisia's Walid Katila. He won the 200 meters T34, which means he's retained all four titles he won in Lyon two years ago. The final world record of the championships was set in the final of the women's 4x100 meters relay, T35-38, when the British squad of Olivia Breen, Sophie Han, Georgina Hermitage and Maria Lyle came home in 52.22 seconds. And that was one of five world records set on the last day, bringing our final total up to 54. And now for a look at the final medals table. China finished with 41 golds, ahead of Russia, the United States and Britain, with Tunisia finishing fifth, thanks in part to those four golds from Walid Katila. Hello, nice of you to join us. Well, I love to get down on the dance floor, don't you? Well, this week in Doha we've seen some pretty nifty shapeshifters, so uh, we thought we would give an award for the best mover and shaker. An honourable mention goes to Teresina Guilamina, whose Brazilian boogie on the podium really hit the spot. But the winner, of course, is the funk soul brother Richard Brown, who like his namesake James, knows how to get on up! Now sadly, Richard couldn't be here to accept the golden dancing shoe, but he sent us this message. What's going on JJ? Sorry I couldn't be in the studio with you man, but I'm kind of out here busy in Doha winning gold medals. Hey, but thanks so much for giving me such a great privilege of this golden spike because I get down and you can always get down with Richard Brown. Can't wait till next year in Rio. Regular viewers will know that we've set commentator Evan O'Hanlon one last challenge in Doha. Here's a little clue to let you know what it's all about. Yo, 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 it's your man JJ in the house. Now, everybody say Doha. Doha. Nice. Now we're going to see how my man O'Hanlon puts those wraps down. Peace. Cruising down the street in my candy painted low Chilling in Doha, enjoying the show Pull up, open the door, take my foot off the pedal And I can see Scott Ridden with his gold medal It's hot in the sun, so I head to the stands To catch a race with Nascimento, he's got no hands Next up is Richard Brown, he's one of the best With the amount that he talks, some I say he's a pest But put him in a race, and he'll beat the rest And how about the girls on the track this week? They've all been running fast and hitting the peak Thanks to Qatar and to the IPC, it's been the best chance ever as far as I can see. And that's it, over and out, from me, from me, me, me. You down with IPC, yeah you know me. Now Evan, I've just been on the phone to my doctor, Dr. Dre, and he says, yo, stick to the athletics, because the rapping ain't happening. Can I get out of this now? It's actually quite warm, and this actually weighs quite a lot. Cheers. So now the end is near, and now we face the final curtain. It's time to look back at the best bits from what has been a brilliant 10 days in Doha. This is what the athletes think. My moment of the championships would be Marcus Rehm jumping 8 meters 40, which is absolutely amazing. That's another massive attempt by Ray. I think the highlight of the championships is when Noel Lennon from Ireland uh, broke the world record in her class in the discus. Definitely um, Amara Duran, the T12 um, Cuban to run 100, um, 200 and 400 world records. That's incredible. The best moment of the world champs is definitely going to be Maddie Di Rosario winning the T53 800 metres. And on the outside is Di Rosario my uh, performance in the championship has to be uh, my roommate Jason Smith. Both of us have had turbulent years of injury. For him to come back from injury like that, it's just a wonderful occasion um, and it's brilliant for the country. And hopefully his baby arrives soon. So that was Doha and this was hashtag Doha2015. Thanks for all your comments, tweets and messages. And thanks for watching. My kid one two.
Tag Duo 2015 World Champion. Just have to blame it on the book. Tag Duo 2015.